Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and as requested by you all, today I finally decided to share all the skincare ingredients that I have used and that worked for me to cure my pigmentation around my mouth. So if you are someone who has been following me for a while, you will know how my skin has changed after I moved to Melbourne. Like the pigmentation around my mouth was crazy in uh, 2021 when I moved here. I did use the wrong skincare and it was too cold for me to handle here and that eventually made me use a lot of room heaters and that totally destroyed my skin. I wasn't aware of uh, you know skincare routine that I'm supposed to follow for winter and that could like handle the room heaters as well. So it is quite a journey trust me it's been two years now and I have learned so much over the past years and still today I don't really know if I've mastered everything but at least I could find something that you know started working for my skin and I could actually see a difference so since so many of you have actually noticed and asked me you know what I did for my um you know pigmentation around my mouth and all that I thought today I'll sit down and share it with you guys so yes if you want to know what I do what skincare I follow and what was my trigger and how I learned to control everything then please keep on watching so if you're new here hi my name is Vinisha thank you so much for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click on the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I post a new video now without any further more delay let's jump into the video now i'm going to be categorizing this video into four different parts of you know what happened for my entire uh, journey of you know dealing with pigmentation so the first part is causes so what caused my pigmentation so initially when i moved here the climate was like really uh, cold and uh, to you know struggle with that what i was doing was i was using room heaters at like you know really really uh, hot temperatures so what that eventually did to my skin was it dried out an entire layer on my face so i'm in the oily skin type as long as i was living in india and my skin used to you know like ooze out so much oil and i used to look like a grease ball every day so that was my skin type and when i moved here it was completely the opposite. So I didn't know how to handle, uh, you know, an oily skin becoming dry because I had no experience of having a dry skin throughout my life. So what happened was initially when I started room using room heaters, I noticed a little bit of dryness around my mouth. So normally when you, uh, you know, use your skincare and everything around your face, like other parts were fine, but only around my mouth, I guess because you eat and, you know, you drink and all that, you keep wiping out and um, the skincare normally around my mouth just like, like you know goes away so i never you know care about reapplying uh, you know the skincare products or you know tried even using a thicker fatty moisturizer so that was something which i initially ignored so after like one or one and a half months of me doing that i started noticing um uh, not like dry patches but whenever i used to apply makeup i started you know my makeup cracking only in this area so that was my first uh, symptom that I noticed, you know, that something was just not right around this place. And after a period of, you know, one to two weeks, I started noticing like it was a tingling feeling around my mouth. So I did not use anything different. I was just following the same skincare, whatever I was using. And I started noticing a bit of a tingling sensation. And with that, uh, maybe in like three or four days, I started noticing, you know, my skin becoming darker and darker. And first, initially, I think I noticed a bit of gray undertone and then it started becoming dark, like really dark. So, yeah, that is where it all started. And it was dark as well as dry and my skin was like literally cracked. So if you know me from Instagram, then I used to share a lot of, you know, uh, my skincare journey over there. I just didn't know what to do. I tried everything. I tried a hydrating serum. I tried whatever I knew at that time to tackle the problem, but nothing worked. But later I understood I was using the wrong skincare because I was using products which was for oily skin, which, was, which I was normally used to. But my problem was completely different it was, you know, a dry skin issue, which I never had throughout my life. So that is where the problem began. And um, yeah, it all started there. So now that you know what triggered my uh, pigmentation, there could be a lot of other issues as well for you. Uh, there could be like skincare allergies or, you know, sun tan, sun damage and so many other issues which can cause pigmentation around my around your mouth. So even today for me, if I eat some like spicy food, I could see a strong gray undertone around my mouth. Like spicy food is not something for me. Um, I really immediately see a strong, um, you know, allergy or something around my mouth and uh, that 
I really feel is a trigger. So now that I know uh, this was my trigger, I was able to find okay, this is my trigger. So I decided to you know eliminate all that out. So what I started doing was um, when I were use a room heater, I started using a humidifier. So humidifiers, you know, it kinda like you know, it's like uh, it's like a small tiny amount of steam that is like you know just. Um, in the room so normally there is like moisture in the room and your skin doesn't like dry out as how uh, when a room heater alone is like working so that is one thing I did and um, that kind of made a little bit of change and but I wouldn't 100% say that you know that heal the problem or solve the problem but that was a very big trigger that I tried to um, what do you call like stop and you know try to uh, control because I'm definitely not someone who can survive without room heaters in the winter because it's really hard but this is the first step I did so I started using a humidifier and that actually really gave you know a huge difference on my skin now the second thing that I followed is to adapt a proper skincare now skincare again I would say uh, we are going to be like you know categorizing into two so now I'll just talk overall about skincare and whatever products I use I'll just say in the end of the video so what I started using uh, in my normal skincare routine is I started introducing a, a moisturizer that contains ceramides and which is normally in like a very thick fatty consistency and uh, I'm like so much used to using gels and you know very very light water-based moisturizers but for winters I made sure that I shifted my skincare to something that was like really thick and uh, more like creamy and fatty so that worked better so because I had oily skin just applying that did not work like I had to apply you know a couple of serums before and then use a moisturizer for me to you know actually feel the hydration which I'll definitely share in the end of the video so that is like one important step I started doing in my skincare that actually helped me change the way my skin started feeling and looking now the next category that we are going to be seeing is treatment so I had a completely different skincare routine before moving here and once I moved here I started incorporating so many actives in my skincare routine so um, I understood that you know the skin is like really hard and um, dry and patchy first I need to eliminate that one I just need to you know get rid of that layer and uh, only then my skincare products will work right so first exfoliation was a very very important thing for me and I decided to go with salicylic acid first on my skin and the second important thing that I uh, incorporated in my skincare routine is retinol so retinol actually brings the lower layer of your skin on top so it regenerates your uh, you know skin cycle so your skin regenerates and it, the cell turnover gets faster so that is also something that I incorporated in my skincare routine another important disclaimer that i wanted to mention this skincare is definitely not for someone who's pregnant or breastfeeding please do not uh, you know try any of these these ingredients are definitely not safe for pregnancy as well as breastfeeding women and um, yeah with that let me continue what uh, my skincare routine is so first I introduced you know these two so these two I used to uh, use twice a week so salicylic acid was like twice a week and retinol was like twice a week so this is what I was using so these help me like you know treat my skin overall but actually trigger actually the trigger was you know excess melanin production on my skin right so to control that I was using kojic acid as well as alpha arbutin on the days which I don't really apply a salicylic acid or a retinol I will share like you know a weekly routine and in the end of the video but this is what I used to do and all these products I was applying in the night so in the morning it was me applying um, a vitamin C serum a sunscreen a moisturizer and a sunscreen so this was like standard for the morning and in the night I used to apply salicylic acid retinols or you know multipeptides or whatever that was for that particular day and trust me it helped me so much like this video might sound you know this is like so much of products and so much of information but it took me like almost two years to figure out you know what I was doing and two years of research you know skincare products try different different products to you know come down to what that this like actually worked for me so it might be a bit overwhelming for someone who's like watching this for the first time and you don't really have an idea of actives and skincare and all that but um, 
yeah, i'll try to break down it very easily for you so whatever i'm using is kind of like you know not the beginner friendly stage uh, for everyone if you're watching so i will recommend uh, beginner friendly vitamin c serums retinols salicylic acid and everything below if you want please go check out that and i will definitely share what i am using and what really works for me as well now in the treatment category the most important thing is that whatever you do in the night you have to make sure that you apply a sunscreen in the morning to save all that treatment and you know all that that have worked the previous night in the morning because these uh, uh, you know skin care actives are like really really reactive to the sun in case you go out without using a sunscreen on you know a freshly exfoliated skin or you know right after ap applying retinol in the night you are going to get insanely you know um like negative reaction when you go to the you know in front of the sun so make sure that you apply a very very good layer of sunscreen before stepping out so that you actually save your skin and you actually see some results now let's check out what are products i use and my morning skin care routine as well as my night skin care routine now to begin with we'll start with what i use in the morning so morning i wake up brush my teeth and do all that and this get refreshed and the first thing that i do is like cleanse my face it could be any cleanser right um like i'm not including cleanser in my video today because i've done enough videos on that so uh, it doesn't you know necessarily be very important what cleanser you use as long as it like washes your face it's all good so the first thing i apply after washing my face is uh, the true derma vitamin c serum i have talked about this in my vitamin c serum video it's an amazing amazing vitamin c serum you get it in pharmacies or you know in 1mg website that is where i got this one it is a bit expensive but it works so well even if you have oil oily skin it is like a watery texture and uh, like a beautiful beautiful serum so this is what i apply first in the morning and next i apply a moisturizer and this one is from minimalist which is the sepi calm moisturizer works really really well and um, like for mornings this is like perfect it's not very thick and it is not like you know very very light in a gel consistency as well it's somewhere in between and it works really really well for my skin so yes this is what i apply in the morning and next to save my skin from everything outside i will use an spf for 50 now this one is from reequil but i don't have like you know a particular sunscreen right now i use so many different sunscreens right now so all of them are like spf 50 i i love the aquologica one i love the dermaco one and the reequil was also like a really really good sunscreen i have done a video where you know i talk so much about sunscreens and i will leave in the top if you want then please go check it out so yeah this is my morning skincare routine and this is like standard i don't change my morning skincare routine at all like whereas in the night i experiment with different different products and um, you know it works differently in the night so my night skincare is a bit complicated compared to my morning skincare so this is what i do in the morning now let's jump on to my night skincare routine so in the night i either use salicylic acid or retinol so you cannot use these two together you cannot use salicylic acid and retinol on the same day and um, with any of these two i used to apply a multi peptide serum on top uh, so a multi peptide is fine you can use whatever uh, peptide serums that you can find and that is safe to apply on any of the products that you use and then i go on with a thick moisturizer so currently i'm using this minimalist ceramide moisturizer and this works like really well this is for like dry skin because it's winter here i started using this one which is for the drier skin and you have another version for oily skin as well and it works like great and just to top it off and you know not get it further dry i use this uh, bioderma etoderm intensive balm moisturizer on top so that everything is like sealed and you know nothing like you know goes away or the temperature outside kind of like you know sucks all the moisture from your face so that's why i top it off with this balm and i wake up with really good skin in the morning now suppose if you are someone who doesn't like you know a thick moisturizer on your face i would highly recommend using face oil oils like if i don't want to use that one then next option that i have is using a, a facial oil whereas a rose hip seed oil this one is from ordinary this has the property of you know treating pigmentation as well so yes i sometimes use this one or i simply even apply a squalene 
um you know a hundred percent plan derived a squalene from the same ordinary range on my face to just you know lock in all the moisture and not get everything evaporated so that way these two work really well and uh, this video is going to be a boom for someone who has like really dry skin because all these products that i'm going to be talking today is you know very uh, scented for dry skin which even i am not very used to before but now i kind of learned and you know um try different products and kind of figure out what really works for my skin right now so this is my skin care so if i have to show you guys as in like a week so monday will be me using salicylic acid multi peptide serum and a moisturizer and uh, tuesday it is going to be me using retinol multi peptide serum and a moisturizer and wednesday i don't use any actives so i just use multi peptide uh, or you know maybe kojic acid or alpha arbutin on my face to treat the pigmentation and then i just use a moisturizer and again on uh, thursday i use salicylic acid multi peptide serum and a moisturizer and on friday it's again retinol multi peptide serum and a moisturizer and then on saturday is usually the day when i try to shave my face so on that day i just use um you know just shave my face because it's like a method of exfoliation i just make sure that i use a saika serum from dr shades which is helping me to calm my skin down and also use the dr shades aloe and panthenol gel uh, cream and i just apply that all over my face and uh, yeah that's the only thing that i apply on you know the day where i shave my face and then sunday it is the same i apply either kojic acid or uh, alpha arbutin with multi peptide serum and moisturizer so this is like you know my skincare routine the entire week i just keep repeating this in the same order and uh, trust me it has been working really really well for my skin right now like <laughs> winter is coming in a month and i don't know how my skin is going to behave throughout this winter and i really don't know what all damages that i'm going to be getting this uh, winter but yeah the first year was so rough the second year was kind of okay but i still got a bit damaged and this year i'm like well prepared and i just know what to do and you know kind of like more confident on myself like you know i am going to save my skin this time no matter what yes that's it this is all that i did for my skin to you know improve on how my skin was before to how it is right now so i just wanted to share this with you guys because you've been asking me so much like i know this is like you know a lot of products and a lot of information and if you're someone who's looking into adding all these actives in your skincare routine like salicylic acid or retinol please do your own research because these products are not something that you can just apply you need research you need to know the uh, you know effects and you know after effects of how this product works on your skin what will happen uh, and all that so you also have to research about a term called purging skin purging very very important please do a uh, read about all this before getting into any of these uh, products because this is not something to just be you know take like, take it like taking it light or uh, you know just taking it easy like you have to be a bit serious when you start doing it because i really faced a lot initially when i started using these products so that's why just a big sister advice <laughs> yes thank you so much for watching and um, please do let me know in the comments what else would you like to see in my upcoming videos and i'll be really really happy to shoot them for you guys thank you so much for watching till the end and i'll see you guys very very soon in my next video bye bye take care